Hello fellow YouTubers, do you mind my emo tie? The new Fire Knight 7, Adam, you talk about MREs that they have in the military, well, well, over here in England, we have an airport and flying company called British Airways. You go on a plane, say you fly from Birmingham to Florida, so six hours. And yeah, I actually talk about food. Haha, <laughs> how ironic. Ha <laughs> ha! To the haters. You go on a flight and you have an already paid meal. Now, what British Airways do <laughs> is they make you pay for it. And then they come in on the trailer, you just come in on the plane. Would you like anything? Would you like tea? Coffee? Orange juice? And the men. Tea, coffee, ice juice, coke, yes, and coke. <laughs> Don't want a beer. And you go, oh, no, thank you, I don't want that. Yeah, classic peanuts, they come in. Would you like some peanuts? Yeah, okay, I'll have a packet. No, 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 no. The one thing I always dread when I'm on an airplane journey is if you go at a time where you have dinner. Oh, the love of God. Save me from this. They come in, bring the food in. Uh, say, for instance, you have you can have a chicken dinner. It's like a for you, like, uh, for you, uh, Adam. It's like a, uh, a TV dinner, but. It's got lots of things like muffins, cookies, biscuits, things like that. And they bring it out. Say for as you have chicken dinner with mashed potatoes and carrots. They put it on. The packaging is really, really tight. It has cling film over it. It's like trying to lift. It's like putting sellotape on your hand and trying to peel it off. It's really, really hard to open the packaging. It takes like three hours by the time you've opened it. It's the end of the flight. So anyway, after you try and rip it apart with your nails, you get to the dinner. The stinking, putrid smell. Oh my god. It is disgusting. The smell, oh, it's not human. It's like sniffing burnt rubber, as you say. It's horrible. It's like they've just chucked petrol all over the thing. So, you attempt to eat it. Shaking. You get around just shaking your head. I'll just cut this bit. Oh, it's cut. It's quite easy. Lovely little chicken breast. Don't you thought? Chew on it. And then. <coughs> you get the. Oh, Jesus Christ, it's not been cooked. <laughs> not been cooked right. Then you have your carrots. You chew on them. They're as hard as nails. You can't chew. I thought. Like, mm. It's like eating wood. And your mashed potato is like porridge. I wonder if the person that served it, they, they're they like the people out of Oliver Twist where they got the gruel. Alright, send these on to uh, the, uh, the, um, uh, yeah, the Boeing 747. Alright, thanks love. Cheers love. So if you want another meal, you can have the muffins, you can have muffins, you have cookies. The cookies, oh they're the best. Same as the big container, you can't open it, it takes forever. And then the hostess comes along and goes, Well, would you like help with that sir? And you go, yeah, yeah here you are. <laughs> You open it, crawl 
comes fire everywhere. Oh, it goes into people's eyes they can't see. Disaster. He handed back a, a little pile of crumbs. Hmm. It's not nice. It's not nice. I will admit, military food probably tastes better than airplane food. <laughs> oh. If you ever go on a plane, never, ever, ever ask for a chicken dinner. Never ask for a chicken dinner. The peas are putrid, the carrots are smelling of kerosene, the chicken is like KFC. Horrible. <sighs> Crappy foods. British Airways food. And when that problem with snowstorms came, loads of people were camping outside with the queues and everything. They're in tents. They had loads of problems with the flight. It was on the news and everything. What did the British Airways do? No, it didn't give them their own food. They just gave them celebrations. Lots of little chocolates. Yeah. Would you like one? Oh, thank you very much. Would you like one? Oh yes. <coughs> it's caramel. I hate caramel. Oh, sorry, sir. They even have the hostesses staying there like that next to them. So uh, if they have trouble opening the packaging, because they know it's going to happen, because it's from British Airways, so they're going. They're just waiting there on guard, going. All right. Okay. All right. Oh, customer seven. Customer seven. Over there. Yeah. Oh. Oh. What the hell has done it? Some of the time out packaging. They're about 75. Come on, come on. Come on. Just don't open it. Ask someone else to do it for you. Oh, he's passing it on to your husband. Can't do it. I'll go over. Go! Would you not have that, sir? Oh, no, got it now. Oh, okay. Ha ha ha. British Airways food. Don't. <sighs> Don't knock it till you try. Knock it. Knock it off the plate. Knock it into. Knock it out the airplane window. I'm here with these goddamn airline food on this goddamn plane. Get out here. I was having an objection. Getting off the plane now. Goodbye. <laughs>